Rex is interesting because he's a kind of holdover that managed to elude the police. But he's really, in my mind, a 1990s or 2000s offender that just kept going and going and going. Allegedly. And to, Allegedly. That, to that end, doctor, um, do you think, if he's guilty, do you think he is the kind of person who would have stopped? Never. We like to think that because the sex drive might burn low with time that they might stop, but this is not about sex. It's about power, domination, and control, and sex is just one means of that. So the idea is this kind of personality would keep going forever. You know, as we were following this case, and we didn't know about an alleged torture chamber mm -hmm. and the horrifying things that he may have done to these women, um, this bail application really opened my eyes, especially, and I think we may have hit on the same thing together, the hard point. The hard point, I didn't know what it was, and when I read the footnotes, I just had to stop everything. I had to go and get a cup of coffee, I had to take a walk. Um, it's, the, it's the hard point that you find in the ceiling where you can suspend a victim for sexual, um, I mean, it's just, I don't even know the words to use, just for sexual torture and battery and, and, and all of the horrible things that existed in that document. Well, it's even worse because in the world of architecture, hard point has a second meaning, which are those screws that you put into wood to suspend a variety of tools. And I think what's important to understand about this guy is what would have happened repetitively is that a woman who fit the perfect criteria for what he needed physically would be brought in irrespective of her location. She need, needed to be her because she needed to have a certain look. She would then be blitzed, hit in the head or neck or strangled, we can tell from the bail document, and would wake up in a torture chamber, probably strapped to a table, and then a variety of instruments like a kid in a candy shop would be around him to use. And so what you have to imagine is a person who has a whole variety of options, just like he said in the video that we just saw, where he talks about the idea of needing a toolbox with a variety of instruments in he it. He called it playtime. Right. Well, allegedly, if these are his documents, he called it playtime. I think you and I are going to become very good friends because um, I think there's more that's coming, obviously. Oh, if yes. this document gives us this much, we're not even close to trial. And who knows what else um, is, and whether there'll be more victims. I know? think it's, it would be very probable because the average age of onset for this kind of crime is 26, and these people don't really stop. And, you know, he's in his late 50s, what, 56, late 55, 50s. something like that. Mm -hmm. Turned uh, 60 recently, I think. Gary Bracado, uh, thank, I don't know how you do what you do every day for a living or whether you take a lot of walks in between hearing this stuff. I try to remember that we do it not for the, the perpetrators, but to try to save lives. To, to it's try. for the victims. Amen. Thank you for this. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.